All right, video time. There's been a couple of people who asked about our bus bars. This PCB bus bars that we're doing for a few of the batteries, right? We have several versions and stuff like these ones right here for the headways and then these ones for the LFP batteries that we have. Uh, and so they're saying like, can uh, PCBs really handle that much current? So today we're gonna, they asked for a test. So I'm like, oh, let's do a test. All right, so today we're gonna test this 12 volt battery, but they come in 12, 24 and 48 volts. And for these batteries and other batteries, like I mentioned before, right? But they all kind of work the same way. This is just a one ounce uh, copper right that is uh laid onto fr4 so this is like a fiberglass um board that is commonly used for pcbs and then these are just the same thing regular and they're about one in uh 1.6 millimeters thick and then they have layers on both sides now so we're doing several layers because this board needs to be elevated slightly to for some clearance, then we put these on the bottom. But I put one set on the bottom and I put one set on the top here and then so that you can see how hot they get. So all of these layers will transfer the current, right? I'll go from here, from there to there, and then from here to there. And then so that you will see that it's gonna get hot here, here and here. And uh, let's put the thermal camera and we're gonna do about a 10 minute test right continuous uh a 200 amp which exceeds the maximum continuous of the cells right but i want to prove that these are more than capable of uh handling more than the the cells can do right so uh the cells can do 180 amps continuous that's what the spec sheet says obviously they will be able to give you 200 amps for 10 minutes right continuous uh they just don't recommend it i guess they will degrade faster if you exceed that and that's why they they have rated them at 180 and by the way uh all the specs are here on the actual board i put the 180 and then the 600 amps for two for 10 seconds uh bursts that these cells are capable of doing so let's throw a load on these and then put the thermal camera and see how hot they get. There we go, 200 amps. in and the cells are holding at 3.1 122 degrees now that is uh look at that like the the two gauge cables pure copper cables Woo! especially on this connector over here like 170 right but the cable it says like 143 so these bus bars are remaining cooler than the two uh american wire gauge cable right so that is not hot at all 120 degrees or so that it reached after 10 minutes it's a continuous test right 200 amps the we're exceeding the the uh capacity of the cells the cells are rated for 180 amps continuous right so these uh, bus bars the pcb bus bars are more than capable of handling that 120 amp uh, 120 degrees uh, fahrenheit is not a lot of uh, heat there uh for a maximum uh thing right so you can also pull about 600 amps for about 10 seconds that'll be fine the uh the pcb bus bars will be able to handle that they will get they will start getting hot but because you're only doing a burst of t 10 seconds or less then it doesn't have time to you know really get really hot so there you go pcb bus bars more than adequate for look these are these are nice and uh they're warm but the cables are hot yeah the cables are like it hurts to hold them 
but these are cool. Um, and they also cool up really quickly because they have large surface area and stuff, right? So there you go. By the way, the PCB boards right here, the main one, it's available as an open source project. You can go and download the Gerber files and then you can go to go to PCBWay.com and then, uh, you know, print them yourself. You can save some money that way. These are available at Jack35.com and then these are available at Jack35. And then you can get all the parts and build your own batteries like this. Or if you don't want to fuss around with all the stuff, you you could also get just the whole battery put together all ready to go you just connect it in there also coming soon i will make a uh, bms that you can screw on top of here just so that your battery is completely ready to go right uh, plug and play kind of thing all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye Oh, by the way, if you have HBO Max, make sure you watch Driver Downey's Dream Cars. I have an episode where I converted a BW bus into a fully electric car. And then we went and shot the episode and stuff and we run around in the beach and stuff like that. So if you have HBO Max, my episode will be released, I think, mid-July. But you can go and watch the first and the second episode right now. And I think the second and third episodes will be released this week. Right, so today is the day that we do uh, the red carpet and we see the first episode. But, I mean, also classic cars are a pain in the ass. I mean, you know, I, I've had them where you're driving and it's like the exorcist and coolant is flying out of the glove box. And you're like, this just makes, this is just isn't fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, again, getting with Mazzilli and all these really brilliant um, aftermarket folks, I felt like uh, I felt like these cars became a lot safer, a lot greener. And, uh, and it was certainly fun to shoot. And I think people are really enjoying the episodes. That's all that matters. I wanted to do something entertaining that has a, enough of a message for me to feel okay about it.